Alright All right, you guys, today we are doing the February Loot Crate in March because we had a lot of snow here and the post office didn't deliver them. If you don't know what Loot Crate is, it is a monthly gamer subscription box. I send you like nerdy video game stuff once a month. It, you don't really know what's coming. There's always a theme. This month's theme was play. So, Sounds like fun. Yeah. So Ben, could you ready kindness? Kindness! <laughs> One of these days, we're gonna have like a live accident <laughs> yeah. on Phil. Ah! Ooh, oh man, this is different. Looks right. neat. This is like a really heavy box, too. That's what it is. It. All right, video over. The biggest thing right on top right, is, is something from Money World. Money World. It looks like it's um, kind of like a vinyl thing that you can draw on yourself. Oh, and it's got like a bunch of markers here red and blue and black. I'm gonna draw me. I wonder if these are like erasable? I think so. <laughs> Hope so, otherwise I was just like... <laughs> just totally messing around just here. Just going for it. Yeah. This is how I would always draw myself on chalkboards in high school. Always have a Pokeball shirt. You of all people would have a Pokeball shirt. Po it's me! <laughs> I, th I don't know what I was going for, but I ended up with sort of... Uh, depressed Harry Potter about gaining some some weight there. <laughs> the next most obvious thing is something called a hex bug. Hex bug! It's an ant. It looks like, yeah, basically like a little wind up ant of some sort. Well, this is impossible. I have plenty of uh, opening something B roll in case we ever need it. It's alive! It. Oh, 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 it goes fast! I want to see it go. Oh man, look at that thing. It's like flying. Oh, oh okay. If it runs into something, it, it like reverses. turns around. Boom. Oh, that's pretty cool. Ooh. Next we have this little black pouch. It feels like maybe dice or something. Ooh! I guess it's like rock, paper, scissor, dice kind of? Oh, that's cool. Yeah. You be black, I'll be white. Let's see who wins. Paper, oh, paper. Paper, rock, I win. Ow. The you guys can't see this ceiling, ceiling like so right that. here. Watch these be part of something much larger that we just aren't even aren't even aware of. And we're like, oh, paper, rock, paper, scissor dies. <laughs> Voltron got us so gun shy to. Oh my gosh! And they're like, <laughs> and they're like committing to something. Yeah, we we are aware now that the shirt we got in the last box is Voltron and not Megatron. Thank you for pointing it out. A lot. We're embarrassed. Next up uh, it is a deck of Super Fight cards. I have not played this game before. Neither have I. What is the one we have played? Story Wars? Story Wars. Man, Ben and I love us some Story Wars. Everyone else doesn't. Oh man, we get we get way more into it than anyone else at the table and they're just like, guys, 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 it's like a <laughs> goblin fighting a flying elephant. Calm down. It's a big deal. It is a big deal. Let's read the rules. Each player chooses one white card and one black card from their hand to create a fighter and places those cards face down. Next, both players turn over their cards and reveal their fighters. Each player then draws a bl random black card from the deck and adds it to their fighter. What do you have? Okay, I have got a literal teen wolf armed with a surface-to-air missile launcher. What do you got? Not anything nearly as good. <laughs> I got a, a trapper. Just a... I, what is that, like a binder? Just a... <laughs> A generic, like I'm thinking like someone who like lays traps and snares in the woods. Yeah, nothing. I have little seed wolf. So far this is looking good. Well, I'm highly defensive at least. I can only be killed by a shot to the head. Good thing I've got a surface to air missile launcher. It's gonna be difficult to only hit my head. It's gonna be difficult not to hit all of you all at once, I think. We'll see. I'm also armed with regrows body parts at will. It seems now, like a teen wolf already it, would do that. <laughs> that might, yeah. <laughs> Shoots lasers out of ears. <laughs> worthless. So, no, not worthless, worthless. Because I can only be killed by a shot to the head, and so I'm, I'm very defensive based. Uh huh. And you have you have surface to air missiles. I'm not in the air. I'm on the surface. So you matter, can, because no matter what, you can hit me with your ear lasers or whatever. But I'm gonna regrow whatever body parts you saw off. Well, I guess that's true. Yeah. So that's I, I mean, I felt I just got to come up to you, literally 
Literal Teen Wolf your head off. Literal Teen Wolf. Because, <laughs> I, I, I mean, your, your surface-to-air missile, as advantageous as that would be, I could be standing right next to you as we launched it. <laughs> That's true. I could be like... <laughs> <laughs> Straight up! Alright, well, you guys decide who would win in the fight. The literal teen wolf, wolf. Uh, who can regrow body parts and has a missile launcher or trapper who can only be shot in the head with I'll, although, ear lasers. Although, so I thought this was like a placeholder so that stuff didn't shift. Right. It, it actually has something in it's it. It's a poster! It's a poster. Uh, oh! A lot no freaking way! It is a, uh, it looks like sort of blueprinty stuff for a game of Pac-Man. Which, Which you've been playing I have crazy! Been, I've probably played like four hours of Pac-Man in the last two days. It is I, open on your computer it is, right like now. I'm looking, I can see it from where I'm sitting right now on my computer. This is awesome! I was looking at like Pac-Man wall art earlier today. I was like, man, what could I get? Did you know there's a perfect score to Pac-Man? I did know there's a perfect score to Pac-Man. And do you know why? We'll get to that in a second. So the reason that I know that there's a perfect score to Pac-Man is because I actually just finished reading a book called Ready Player One, which happens to be the next the item in the box is this book. I can't, this is like one of my favorite books. I have listened, listened to the entire thing twice on Audible. Oh, somewhere on here it says, did you read an audiobook? It does, that was like one of the first videos we ever did. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah, th this book, I, I can't even recommend it highly enough. It is so good and so interesting, especially if you like video games like at all, which probably you do. And doesn't someone go to read it? Yeah, the audiobook? yeah, the audiobook, Will Wheaton reads it! Will Wheaton. It's great! It's great! There's actually, a, there's a tiny Will Wheaton cameo in the book, too, which is really funny when he's reading it and he's like, reads his own name, was like, ah, no way! I really hope they make a movie at some point. I would, I'm probably gonna listen to it again, or just, now, actually, I wanted to go buy it so I could read it, like, in physical things. There's a lot of, like, things sometimes you don't realize, you're like, like, the, one of the characters' name is H, and so I just always assumed it was the letter H, but they spell it like A-Y-C-H, because I tried to look him up online later, and I was like, why can't I find this guy? A-Y-C-H. Yeah, that's something you don't know if you only listen. So, anyway, Ready Player One! This is, oh man, how exciting. He, I mean, he's like literally geeking right now. <laughs> I can't, I finished it this morning on my way to work, and now I have the hard copy. Right here. It's right unbelievable. Alright, dude, so... After last Loot Crate video, I was like, I wonder if we need to be, like, critical. You know, because we're, like, unboxing, and sometimes there's, like, a reviewing aspect involved where it's like... Right. You almost, if you're not being critical, how can you really take it to heart? Because, right, because obviously not, we want you to sign up for the product. We want you to sign up for the product, right. but, you know, like, with this particular box in general, I was like, all right, I'm going to be, like, critical of something. But this was a really, really good box. Really good box. Kid. I mean, I like pretty much everything. We, we're gonna, probably gonna go upstairs and play that game. That, the card game. The yeah. card game. I mean, play yeah. screaming in the car like after I tonight. After I finish playing a few more rounds of Pac-Man, of course. Or reading my book. If you want to sign up for Loot Crate, you can head over to LootCrate.com slash SuperCarlinBrothers and enter promo code CARLIN and get 10% off your Loot Crate order. And I highly recommend it because they have been killing it lately. It, is, it seems like month after month it's just getting better and yeah. better. This, I mean, the bar, so. this was like easily like the biggest box we've gotten to. Oh, I know, like, yeah, yeah. Heads, when it came in, it's like, this is very dense. But the question of the day, I think we have to ask who, who won the card game. Yeah, who I, won the card game? Teen Wolf. I'm thinking like Gale. <laughs> like, from, like Gale from the Hunger Games. With his ability to intricately finesse the twigs or whatever. I hated the way they always described Gale. Anyway, uh, that is it for us. We'll see you in another life, brother. These socks are amazing!